What's up guys, Brandon here, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Um, today, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos on my minifigures, but I do plan on uh, reviewing each and every one. Not going to get into too much detail, detail with them, considering I do have five. But yeah, so I really do... Oh, well, I'll start off with this. I really do enjoy this collection. Um, you can go back to my other videos. Um, I get more into depth with them than I will with this video. But um, I really love these guys. Basically because they're just classics to me. Um, I think of Jemmy. I think of things like this. I think of their life size as well. But I really do like their tabletops. And they're very iconic. I mean, where else are you going to find an animated mini scream? Like, just so iconic looking. I mean, I really love this thing. I really do. And there's nothing like it to me. So, um, like you have possibly seen in other videos, the arms are posable. I try not to play with this as much as it could hinder, like, and break. You know, I don't want the gears to split. Um, so, um,. So I'll start from the boots. Now the th the funny thing is these boots actually um, look like a scale replica of the boots on most other Jimmy life sizes. They look exactly the same with the laces and everything. So I think they were really going for um, a mini life size sort of um, thing. So uh, that would have be been really cool if they made a Frankenstein one. Like a Boris Karloff or Count Vigor. They really should do that. Maybe Dawn of the Dead. Just bring back a lot of the mini um, characters. So, um, there are only four of these. I do not count Chucky because he is, he, he's on a base and he's just like, I think he's a little taller. And he just does way different things. So, I mean, I don't count him in this minifigure franchise um, as this. You know, how these guys look. So, um, yep, he has the try me button on the foot. Um, his battery packs are down here. Um, he has a bloody knife. Um, his hands are really cool. This one's posable as well. I wish I had the box for this one. I don't have the box for my, for this one and my Michaels. Um... So you can see his face, really cool looking. It reminds me of the first one for some reason. Just the features are a little bit quite smaller on them. Like the eyes are a little bit smaller, if you can tell from the first Scream movie. Um, in the back, he has a little bit of Velcro here. The, the only thing I do not like about this minifigure is that the, the, cloth the clothing is so transparent. Like you can see right through it. But I mean, if it's like on behind a wall, in front of a wall... I mean, you can't see anything, really. But I wish the cloth was a little bit thicker. <coughs> but yeah, so that's it for this one, and I'll give you a demo. Hello, sick. You hang up on me, and I'll cut through your neck until I feel bone. Sorry the um, sound's not as loud. I need to change the batteries. And etc. So let me put this guy back up here, and I'll get to the Michaels since they do take a little bit longer. I'll I'll do both at the same time, just to kind of shorten the video up for you guys. Okay, um, these guys are really cool. As you can see, there are quite a few differences on them. I do have a Michael Myers comparison video. That was like a year ago. I posted that. But, um, yeah, basically, um, the jumpsuit is lighter on this. The head is a little bit lighter on this one, as you can tell. Um, 
Pur not purposely, but like this head is a little bit skinnier than this one, but that's not on purpose. It's the same mold, guys. Um, this one has a lot more blood. It has blood on his hand. This one doesn't. Obviously, a different pattern of blood. Let me do this. Um, he has a yellow button. This one has a black button. And these are a little bit more metallic, these shoes. These ones are a little bit more, like, dull, which I don't mind. And I feel like this fabric is much more thicker. And this is actually softer fabric than this. So yeah, these, um, like all the minifigures, um, their left arms, their left arms are posable, these ones, and then the right, um, move up and down, and their head turns side to side. So, yeah, I'll give you, um, a demo of both of them. I'm only, I'm only gonna show, like, 15 seconds of the, um, theme song, but here we go. Okay, I got a little caught away there, sorry. Um, I just really like the theme song. So yeah, overall, really cool prop. Um, I mean, they're pretty big. Like, this is the size of my hand. They're pretty big. I'm bigger in person than you would expect. Um, definitely. Yeah. And we'll put this guy back up here. Next, um, we have Freddy and Jason. I'll do them together as well. What's up here? Oh, there goes his knife. Okay, um, let me get Jason down first. Sorry about this, guys. And Freddy. Okay, Freddy almost fell out of his box. Um, I'll do Freddy first, actually, um, because the boxes are so large. Uh, okay, so we have Freddy here. Iconic face and Fedoria. F Fedoria? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Fedora. Um, he has blood on his, uh, his glove. A little dusty from sitting on the shelf. Um, but I got Jason and Freddy together, actually, at a horror con show. Yeah, it says, try me. His head moves while he tries to grab you. Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, Freddy Krueger animated. His head moves while he tries to grab you. Haunts with his evil voice. Same thing on the other side. These have been taken out of the box, um, unfortunately. Um, like, about four years ago, I was so stupid and I cut them out. But honestly, as long as they have their box, I'm happy. Okay, so, uh... He has his little khaki pants, same boots as the rest of them, and his striped sweater. Um, this, I don't like, like, a, personally, I just don't like this striped sweater. There's just something about it I don't like. Um, maybe it's just, like, the neck, how that comes up like that, but I don't know. Um, I, and maybe the material, I'm not sure. But I, I really do like it, though. It's just, this the sweater, it's just a little bit, um, ir it just kind of irritates me a little bit. But, I mean, I get along with it, it's not a big problem, it's just when I'm get like, like, touching it more, it's just, I don't know, I just don't like it. That's my personal opinion, um, you guys might not mind it. I don't know, it's just the weird fabric, I'm not gonna get into this, but I'll give you guys a quick demo. <laughs>
Okay, that was Freddy. Um, and we'll move on to Jason. Um, so he has. Some, yes, the box is a little ripped here. Honestly, to be honest with you guys, I liked when I like it when Jimmy boxes are like wearing down. It just like makes it feel more antique. But it says Friday the Thirteenth, Jason Voorhees animation. Jason Voorhees animation. He moves his head and swings his machete. Try me makes his signature sound. Kmart twenty four ninety nine. Jason Voorhees animation. So it says try me. He moves his head and swings his machete. Um, honestly, this isn't bad for twenty four ninety nine. All four would be a hundred. Um, but yeah, they're worth a lot more now. These, I mean. I, I'm not going to get too much into the price range, but I mean, yeah, so here's his jacket can actually come off. Um, I like the detail on the face. I like how the strap goes all the way around the head. Thank you for doing that. Um, just the little things that make me happy. Um, I like that you can actually, it looks like he's actually wearing the mask. Like, here, let me focus. It looks like you can see the mask like it's over his skin. Um, they got a lot into detail in this. I really do like it. Um, I don't know. Like, just these little minifigures. Like, I just enjoy the smaller things. Um, not always the life sizes that make me happy. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, he has little rips in his, um, jacket. And his knife is a little bent. Like, it is a little bit more, like, latexy and, like, rubbery than the other ones. The other ones are, like, really stiff and, like, hard plastic. Um, and like the others, he's a little dusty. Uh, he has a little bit of blood on his hand. And yeah. He has little blue pants. And this arm is possible. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, I, I'll give you guys the demo. Um, so yeah, really love these guys. Um, these guys I just really rather not part with, you know, just, I love having them in my collection. Um, they look, I, I'm gonna be honest, they look exactly like the life sizes, I'm telling you. I mean, just, you can kind of tell from the shape of the head, like how it comes down and then like the back of the neck is like a little bit more like ovally. Like, that's how it is on my life size. It's a little crazy. Must be the same sculpture, I guess. But, um, yeah, I really just love these guys. Like I said, I wouldn't part with them just because, um, they kind of symbolize my love for Halloween. So, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Have any questions, just comment. And, um, as always, see you guys in my next video. Thank you, guys, and see you in later. Thanks, bye.